This is a video test of the Canon M50 Create for creative entrepreneurs with particular highlights on video streaming. I'm going to show you why this is important because it can actually cut down on your editing. So this video is sponsored by WJC Pottery. If you're into green tea, you can try the cha one I've got right here. Makes for a great gift or get it for yourself. There's an alternative coffee that uh, gives you a lot of benefits, health benefits otherwise. A lot of people are using videos because it's an easy way to connect to your audience. But using video can get kind of technical. So rather than get into the technical part with the Canon M50, I'm going to look at this in terms of, okay, you can take this camera right out of the box and use it for a lot of different needs. And I'm going to show you those needs in a second, including some different hacks in a warning that you're going to want to heed if you use the Canon M50. Now I'm, I'm filming with the Canon M50 right now. And one of the cool features that is here is that it has a flip out. Now I'm using Ecamm Live to record this right now. And one of the reasons I'm using is because I can plug the Canon M50 directly into the computer and not have to worry about anything else. I don't have to use uh, Elgato Cam Link, which costs you know, anywhere from $80 to $100 to get. Now, Ecamm Live is awesome. I'll have another video that shows some of the capabilities, but I do have one that covers why you would use it to cut down on editing. You can check that out up above. But with this video, let me show you just some different ways to use uh, the Canon Let's M50. say you wanted to get a camera. You can use the kit lens. I'm using the kit lens right now, and you can see it does a little bit of a, the blurry background. It gives you uh, a cinematic effect, and it's very clear. So right out of the box with this kit lens, you can start making videos right off the bat, and you don't have to have the learning curve with all the settings. You can go with what's on the camera right out of the box. Now that's huge. But let me show you some different ways, including a quick hack for creating overhead videos. The overhead videos are a lot of fun because if you're a creative entrepreneur and you're like doing examples of drawing, maybe you're highlighting some book passages, any number of things where you're showing your hands or video from above uh, for uh, different products. I'm going to show you the setup where you can use this right here for like 12 bucks and make it so you can do overhead photography and then switch it on the fly and have it. Uh, looking straight at you so you can do an online course or explanation video, how-to video, or whatever. So it gives you an instant uh, instant adaptability. That's because all of this is on an inexpensive arm that podcasters use. And you can get more expensive ones, obviously, but let me show you how this works. <music> With the overhead, there's a lot of different uses. If you have a microphone stand, of course, you can do all kinds of different angles and move it around in different spots that you might not be able to get to with a tripod and have your work set up so you can get above your work or to the side or below where you can't fit a tripod in some unusual places, but the tripod stand can go in one spot and then the arm reaches out and is able to just move around. I don't have the stand currently, but later I'll show a video with that. Okay, now let's look at image civilization and a walk and talk test. Now this video test is going to be between the Canon M50 and the A6000. And the Canon M50 has some internal stabilization and the A6000 really doesn't have much of anything. So you're going to see the difference between the two. I'm going to have each of the cameras set up on this tripod. So you're going to be able to see what it looks like without any sort of gimbal stabilization or anything like that. Uh, it, the Canon will have its own stabilization, but the E6000 won't. So there's a lot of different uses as a creative entrepreneur. It's so much, it's so easy to just grab it and use it than something that's big and bulky. And yet the output is really good. You don't have to do a lot of tweaks to make it look good right out of the box. So you can use this right away. So I highly recommend it. Um, there's a link down below to the camera itself. It's not an affiliate link. I can't be an affiliate in my state to Amazon, but really good camera. And right now the Black Friday price is pretty cool at Best Buy because it includes an adapter. And this adapter um, that you can get is usually 156 bucks. This adapter, of course, is a less expensive version, and I'll have a link to that down below. 
than the uh, Canon one. But you can use other lenses like this uh, 24 millimeter or being able to use this 50 millimeter and so on. You might have other lenses you want to use in different situations. Again, you don't need to because a kit lens works pretty well, I think. Okay, so now I've gone ahead and switched lenses. Um, I went ahead and used the adapter and I put on the uh, 24 millimeter. This is one of my favorite lenses that I used with the T4i. And so you can see the difference. Um, getting the adapter is pretty cool and allows you to use this lens. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to. And I like the look of this lens. It is um, uh, better for video. The kit lens right here, of course, works quite well. But um, I think this lens does have some advantages, especially if you're doing um, video. I like, I love to get some other, other lenses, but <laughs> that's all over time. You know, you, you, I find with photography, you can just get something and build and build and build. And that's the beauty of the Canon M50 is with this adapter, I can use all the lenses that I got before. They're not that great, but a couple of them are good, like this one. And so I can actually build them on my lenses, which are a huge expense. And so not having to just start over from scratch, it's a big, big deal, but still go mirrorless. That's why this adapter is sweet. So anyway, part of the test, of course, is to put a different lens on there. And that is with this one. I'm not going to do it with the 50 millimeter because <laughs> it, would, it would be kind of tough. Um, I do have a 55 to 250, um, but, but I'll do that test another time. This is a quick little video test, and this is actually using the lav mic. And just so I have the same conditions, this is actually a test with the shotgun mic. And this is that same uh, conditions audio test uh, without the lav mic. One of my final tests. And this has to do, I'm going to be switching between different camera sources. With Ecamm Live, it's pretty cool to be able to do that. Let me show you what I mean. So right now, I'm on the Canon M50 and here is what the little Logitech looks like down below. And then we've got the Sony A6000. So you can see they're from different angles, so I can switch between them. It help, Of course, with doing video, it, keeps, it helps to keep interest. And with editing, it can be fun. Going from inter different angles and then being able to look and see that different angle um, is often a way to keep interest. So when you get good, you can switch between them. And there's boards, there's actually boards you can get that you can just touch hotkeys and go from the different uh, sources as you want. So I thought that that'd be pretty cool to see um, the different cameras. Uh, I'm, you know, you can see which one is your favorite, I guess. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's nice having the the option though, because it, it just breaks things up for you. So that's the last of the test. And I think it's pretty cool. You know what I love about the Canon M50 is a creative entrepreneur. I could just, I can use it pretty much anywhere and use it and do pretty much anything with it and get pretty good results. Although I've been using the A6000 for a long while now, I relied on the T4i for shooting a bunch of video because it had the audio port. All right. So I hope you've enjoyed the test with the Canon M50. It was kind of fun to do. It's not a complete test and I'll have some other testing because I've just gotten it. I've, I've started to get used to a little bit of its features, but by own, no means have I gotten used to all of them. In fact, I'll show you one last feature that I really like, and, and that has to be, do with remote viewing. What's cool is I'm actually connected right now via this iPad and I can, uh, start and stop the camera anytime. There's also a bunch of other functions. This is just using the audio from the camera. So what I tried to do in the video test of the M50 is to really just kind of put it through the paces on different things I thought I might want to do or what uh, another creative entrepreneur might want to do in this age of constant content creation to get attention and to just connect with your audience. Now, obviously video is one of the best ways to do that. It's obviously a video test made a lot of sense, but you can use this in a lot of different ways and really, whether you get the M50 or not doesn't matter. What matters is that you use whatever you have and start creating video, even if to just to enhance your landing pages, enhance your the items that you create for the people or what you create, the offers that you create or the courses that you create, any number of things. I, I'm hoping that the ideas here really help you connect a little bit more with the M50 in terms of its versatility and usage in terms of uh, your creative output. 
And I'm hoping you find this helpful. And if you do, click the like button or throw a comment down below. Love to hear from you. And of course, I'll have another video uh, sometime later after I've used this in a number of different ways. It's not like one camera fits all. And really, you're going to need multiple cameras at different times to really capture different things. So, but I think that M50 in the lineup is a definite plus. Hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you next time. Okay, this is a post edit and I forgot to tell you about the warning. The warning I have is, has to do with the limitation that the M50 has. Um, its battery life is really poor. Obviously, one of the things you can do is get a number of batteries, but a lot of people will actually get a battery adapter so you can plug it in and therefore you can just run it ongoing. But here's the thing. And here's the warning that's really important. When you do this, you risk zapping your camera, meaning if you have a bolt of electricity, um, you're going to zap your camera. So you're going to want to plug that into a surge protector at the very least. But I think, but what I'm going for instead is to use a battery pack. And there's an adapter you can get where you can use the battery pack. So you can plug it in uh, to this instead. And then the benefit is not only do you uh, get rid of the risk of zapping your camera. You also have a lot more versatility in terms of powering in different places without using uh, a number of batteries and having to swap out. I'll have another video that goes through some tests that I put it through on that, but I did want to put it out to you that do not, <laughs> do not plug in your camera into the wall with that power adapter without at least having a surge protector because you will zap your battery. And I think that's why my T4i died. I'm not sure, but I think that's why. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching.